Hi, I am Shruti from Informatica Technical Support. This video covers two packet capturing tools that can be used for network troubleshooting. The syntax of the commands and the filters, the options that can help in capturing the packets effectively will be discussed here. These are the tools covered in this video, TCP dump and Wireshark. TCP dump is a packet analyzer tool mainly used in Unix machines. It is a command line tool. User need super user privileges to run these commands. To check whether TCP dump is already installed in your Linux machine, you can use this command rpm qa grep tcp dump. Command to run tcp dump is as follows tcp dump i and the interface. To know the interface name, we can use the if config command and check hyphen c to specify the number of packets to be captured in this session hyphen n to use the IP address instead of the host name hyphen w to specify the output file name if the extension of the file name is that can be compatible with the Wireshark then this file can be opened in Wireshark as well that helps in better graphical interface for analyzing the packets hyphen s to specify the TCP packet size this helps in preventing the truncation of the packets less or greater than option helps in capturing the packets greater than or less than the specified size host or dst commands here we can specify the ip address of the host we can use either dst command or host command port command is used for specifying the port number not arp or any other host expressions can be used if you have a specific idea about the protocols of the packets to be captured here we go for an example in a Linux machine. If config command helped in finding the interface of the packets to be captured. We can use a TCP command to run the packet capturing. This is the TCP command and the packets will be captured in the port 1521. We can open this packet in Wireshark as well because the extension uses .pcap. If you don't want to write the packet capture in a file, we can run the TCP command in command line itself. The pcap file is open in the Wireshark tool for better graphical interface and that helps in analyzing the packets more effectively. Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer that runs on Windows, Linux, Unix and Mac operating systems. Its graphical frontend and filtering options are really helpful in packet analysis. It consists of attractive filtering options. So to start the packet capture, first we have to select the interface. The interface can be selected from capture interfaces. Here we can select the interface and start the capturing by looking at the packet capture numbers we can find the interface by clicking on the start button it initiates the packet capturing and a stop button here can be seen for stopping the packet capture or we can go for capture stop Several filtering options are available. In filter tab, we can provide IP address or port number or even protocols for filtering. To get the TCP communication in one stream, there is an option called follow TCP stream. The filtering option TCP provides all the packets that is in the protocol TCP. For providing any IP address as the filter, we can use this command ip.addr equal to equal to the IP address say 66.163 only packets are in that IP will be filtered here to provide any port number we can use tcp dot port equal to equal to the port number
all the packets with port number 1521 is displayed here for following the tcp stream we can click on any packets and select the option follow tcp stream here we can see all the communication between in that stream in that session uh, it will be divided in red and blue red will be the outgoing or blue will be the in inbound thing hope this video helped you to familiarize with two networking tools tcp dam and wireshark we would like to hear from you you can provide your feedbacks through support video at informatica.com thank you